So for the last question, we're going to graph y equals 2x plus 1. We can do this one in green. And we'll say y-intercept is 1. Slope is 2. Up 2 over 1. <coughs> down 2. Left 1. <laughs> For our second part of this, we'll just call this our blue graph. This is in vertex form. If we remember vertex form, y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k, where our vertex is h and k. But if you see the general form of the equation, it has a negative h. So we're going to take the opposite of what it says in there. Our equation says positive 3, so our vertex is negative 3. And we take k as is because it says positive k. So it's negative 3, negative 8 is our vertex. From here, we're just going to go out from there, picking some, some values. We could pick a value like negative 2. And negative 2 plus 3 is 1. 1 squared is 1. And 1 minus 8 is negative 7. So at negative 2, we're at negative 7. Its corresponding axis of symmetry point would be negative 4. The next value we could plug in would be a negative 1. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. 2 squared is 4. And 4 minus 8 is negative 4. So that's negative 1, negative 4. Its corresponding point would be negative 5, negative 4. And let's do one more. Let's plug in a 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. 3 squared is 9. 9 minus 8 is 1. So 0, 1. And negative 6, 1. Uh, let's see if we can do one more. How about 1? 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 squared is 16. Minus 8 is 8. So 1, 8. And negative 7, 8. And so when we graph these, when we plot our points, we can see that we have solutions at this point and at this point. Because solutions are where your graphs or where your equations run into each other, where they meet each other. So our solution is negative 4, negative 7. And we've got another solution at 0, 1.